Here's everything new in iOS 17 Developer Beta 2. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and Apple has released the second developer beta of iOS 17. I'm going to walk you through all the new features, enhancements, and changes, and one of them is a really nice big new feature that we have been waiting for. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing to note is the redesigned update screen. So you can see, of course, with iOS 17, we're switching to these new Apple ID based update profiles versus installing actual profile on your phone. And here's what it looks like when you go to install a beta update. You have the iOS 17 mark here, and then there's this update now, update tonight options down there towards the bottom. The next new thing in this beta is Apple has added the new tap to airdrop feature, where you can simply bring two phones together to transfer something, whether it is a photo or this contact card. I will say though that the contact card and links in Safari didn't work right now in this beta. Here we have some new sizes for Apple Music widgets. So I have the old beta here on this iPhone, so this is beta one, and then we have the new beta here on this iPhone. So listening activity is the same, move over, listening activity again, moving over, listening activity, but continuing, we have the new small one for recommendations. So we have a new small option for recommendations. There's the big one. Moving over, we have a new small one for top charts, as well as a medium for top charts, and then the still the large ones. So just a few new widget options here for Apple Music. Let's dive into settings. I'm gonna first go down here to accessibility, then I want to go to touch, and let's look at haptic touch. Apple has new options here, so there's this new fast one that I love to make it easier and quicker to haptic touch. So that's the fast one here is default. Just a slight pause there before it pops open, and then slow, yeah, it's a very deliberate to open the slow one fast. This is cool. This is clutch, and I'm 100% going to be switching mine to fast thanks to the new second beta of iOS 17. Moving back into settings, we have a new option for fitness. So there's a new dedicated fitness section here within settings, right here below health. So this is where all of your information is. You can see how your data is managed, turn off live activity, sell your data, all this stuff, but just dedicated fitness category inside of the settings app. If we go to the music section of settings, Apple added crossfade with iOS 17, but when you tried to toggle on, it would instantly crash the settings app, at least in the first beta. You could turn it on, but it would crash. So now this no longer crashes settings. And there's this working slider down here so you can control how much of a crossfade there is between the different songs. So I love this. Uh, obviously, it's just nice that it doesn't crash right now. So moving back again, so we're going to go back up and we're going to jump into the section for standby. There's a new feature in iOS 17. There's a whole video dedicated to it. But now there's a new option to disable notifications. So you can hide notifications while in standby mode, though notably critical notifications will still be shown. So for me, the type one diabetic, maybe I have my Dexcom sensor going on. If that's the case, that those critical alerts can still show while in standby mode. Check-in is another feature new with iOS 17. Apple has adopted this just slightly, changing the wording here. So it's now full and limited. And before it used to say current location only and all locations visited. So all locations and current location or full and limited. So just small tweaks to the wording for the check-in feature of iOS 17. So those are all the changes. And honestly, it's not a big jump from the first beta. Like there's definitely improvements here and it does feel more stable just in the last day because the first beta was quite rough. It feels a bit smoother already. And actually when I was in Cupertino, some of the developers there, the Apple engineer said, hold on till beta two because the first one's a little bit rough. And that has absolutely seemed to be the case. Alongside developer beta two of iOS and everything else, Apple also released the first SDK and a simulator for their Vision Pro mixed reality spatial computing headset. This is very cool and there is a whole other video I did if you wanna see what that's like. So if you wanna check out how the interface will look, how you will interact with it, what the apps look like, uh, all of that I walk through in another dedicated video. Uh, it's quite in depth, so go check that out if you're at all interested. If you find any other changes inside of iOS 17 beta 2, please let me sure, please be sure to let me know down below in the comments and I'll let you know if I use them in the article. Otherwise, stay tuned and I'll see you all in the next video.